My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to West of Loathing. Alrighty then. Can go all the way out to the rescue mission. The old mission's here. We got destroyed there, and in the Gustavsum Gulch. We've been destroyed left, right, and center. I just want more locks, yo. That's all I want. That's all I've ever wanted. Danny's Tannery. I heard thanks again, mate, from inside. Uh, it sounds like there's a lot of fighting going on inside the tannery, except instead of the regular fighting sounds you're used to, like shouting and gunfire and chairs being broken over people's backs, you hear a lot of ghostly bellowing and shrill, cackling laughter. Sounds like a real bad scene, in other words. Enter the tannery. As you enter the tannery, the second thing you notice is the place has been abandoned for years, probably since the cows came home. A lot of the equipment is wrecked, and all of it is covered in dust. The first thing you notice is there's a bunch of radio clowns in here fighting with, well, they aren't... It, Clowns. Cows, rather. Exactly. They're more like possessed skins of cows? That's a little strange, because you've seen people wearing, for example, cow leather chaps, but you've never seen people being attacked by their chaps. Maybe there's something about the tanning process that makes the leather impervious to possession in these ghost cow whatevers or untanned hides? In any case, the clowns and cows are preoccupied enough with their fighting that they haven't noticed you. At least, not yet. Uh, as you approach the clown and weird cow leather ghost thing, they take notice of you and stop fighting while they process this new development. The clown, fortunately, seems to decide he hates cows more than he hates you. The cow, unfortunately, decides it hates you more. Hate it right back or fight? Okay, we can actually just go around the back here, though. Okay... Going around the entire back. And the door is locked, which is all the well considering the ruckus you hear on the other side of it. Hmm. I'm gonna want to inspect a lot of this though. All right, let's start with a smaller fight. Okay, the rodeo clown's on our side, that's nice. Deals a consistent amount of damage and kills the skin cow in one turn. You beat the cow, but the enemy of your enemy is apparently not your friend because the clown decides it's his turn to be on the right side of the screen. <laughs> Gotta jump him this time. <laughs> Alright. Can probably kill him in the next round. 12 damage. Okay, that would have been a lot more significant. Okay, they have a lot of muscle. Thankfully, my moxie is high enough that their moxie doesn't really matter to me. They have 24 moxie. Would be a problem if my moxie wasn't ridiculous. Uh, well, that's one clown, and, uh, one clown and one cow down. You hear a lot more fighting going through the rest of the tannery, so that pat on the back will have to wait till later. Okay. These 2v2 fights, probably much easier. You attempt to sneak up on the cow fails, assuming you're even sneaking and not just moseying over. The cows appear all too willing to add to your uh, add your face to the list of faces they hate and turn their attention from the clowns who jump on this opportunity to get the jump on their ancient enemies. Join the fracker. All right. Just try and reduce the amount of action that the enemies get. Oh, okay. The cows actually aren't even that bad. It's the clowns that are way worse. And it looks like they're going to kill him. Beauty. Uh, and then us. True to form, the clowns who are on your side turn and betray you. Okay, this one has less health. Mm, turns out to have been a worse target. Uh, I'm going to act before both of them in the next round, so that's actually fine. Yeah, because my AoE will take it out. I've never seen a missed attack in this game. So as long as I heal up after this, we're fine. I fear there is going to be ultimately a problem here. And that's that I don't think I can take out three at the same time. Especially if they target the dock first. 
Okay, uh, it feels kind of strange to be fighting alongside demonic clowns, but I guess war makes strange bedfellows. Uh, just ignore the fact that I use demonic clowns and bedfellows in the same sentence. Back to exploring. Well, I'm nothing if not stupid. Let's try. The scene has the makings of real brawl. Not only does one of the clowns have a nasty look in his eye, I mean, nastier than typical, but one of the possessed cowhides is stretched on a tanning frame, which makes it stronger, somehow, I assume? Uh, an ungulate, right, ah, uh, we've seen one of those before. I'm assuming they're going to finish off the, yeah. Well, they tried to, at least. An ungulate performs a special attack against name last name for 38 fucking damage. The game didn't say fucking, I added that myself. Okay, physical damage works much better against the Ungolith, apparently. Not for me, uh, not for me, but apparently. All right. I'm gonna heal name last name before he fucking dies. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay, good. Looks like we'll be fine. Uh, the three clown fight is gonna suck though, probably. Because these clowns look particularly powerful. Which is to say they're doing a lot more damage. Uh, guess what? The clowns turn after you. Uh, turn on you after all the clowns. Uh, cl cows are dead. God damn, I keep freaking that up. Okay, this one has 91 HP. I just need to remove one of them from the map as soon as, quick, as, soon as possible, rather. Well, we're probably gone now. <laughs> yep, all three of them attacking. Oh no, we heal 25 a turn. Uh, but you deal 26. Figured that might be the case. 12 and 26. If they don't split their damage, we just lose. They didn't split their damage. That was rough. Yeah. Well, we got angry, so we can dust ourselves off and go back in. Is there any way that I can be better equipped to go in there? Extra muscle versus extra armor. If your muscle is one lower than the bandits, the attack will do two damage instead. Okay, that shouldn't be as good as armor then. Not for me right now. Okay, fancy knife is extra moxie. So we'll use that. The hat is extra moxie, but I need the uh, armor. Okay, the rest of that is fine. I do have some space in my spleen. I've also got some experience, so I might want to level up first. Another level of grit is another 10 maximum HP, as well as pain tolerance up to 3. Pain tolerance up to 3 isn't even that big, though. Yes, none of that's probably necessary. I kind of want to increase the moxie. It'll just increase the damage that I do, though. It won't actually really help me, though. Because I, I probably won't hit a new... Like, a new breakpoint. Okay, that's a potion. Increases my mysticality, increases my melee damage. Increase okay, cool. None of those are actually going to help me. Extra three muscle. What do you got? The five armor. Do I go in? 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 Do I 
be able to kill one of them one round, prevents me from taking 12 damage, and then I get to heal up 12 versus 16, and then the the kill on the second target's still really fucking hard, though. Um, freaking hard, sorry. Yeah, because I'll, I'll, I'll constantly be going up and then significantly down in terms of HP. The only way to really win that fight would be to take out the person doing more than double damage first, but that's really rough. 26 damage a turn, 96 HP. By the time I kill him, I'd be dead 10 times over. I can't go to Danny's tannery yet. You know where I can train for a moment? Take the dynamite. In the Dave Yard. I feel like a lot of this at the moment is that I am not taking advantage of my equipment. Fair enough. Uh, but also... Um, honestly, it really doesn't matter what I do here. Uh, I feel like a lot of the problem is I'm not taking correct advantage of my equipment. And buffs and things like that. But also that I've not spent much time actually training. Okay, they straight up whiff. Their moxie's not high enough to deal any damage to me. Alright, Alice, time for you to level up. She got a new ability a while ago for leveling up. So maybe on this level up, she gets another ability and that ability is particularly good offensively or maybe it heals as well as being offense. Oh God, that was bad and I should have done that. Yay, still killed him. Studies the foes. Come on, Alice, you can level up, I promise. Like a fast combat thing. Speed combat, three hundred percent. Beautiful. Uh oh. Okay, that's that's too fast. Two hundred percent. Okay. Yep. Combat's a heck of a lot faster now. Unfortunately, now it sounds horrible. Damn it! Do I have to go back to normal speed? Maybe I'll only put combat at fast speed when I'm quickly just trying to level someone up, like right now. I'm unaware if I can see a stat screen for the lovely Alice's stats and things like that, unfortunately. That would be nice to see. Okay... Come on, Alice. I know. I know you're close to a level. You just gotta level up. Because as soon as you do, we can get out of here. Alice has become stronger. Beautiful. Now we've got to see if Alice does get a new ability. She doesn't, but she does 11 AoE damage now. I'll also check uh, if her heal does any more healing. This is also an excuse to get 60 more experience. Target doesn't need any healing, so it doesn't actually tell you. Damn. Fair enough. All right, check the map. Ridiculous amount of all of those things. Uh, as to be expected. Let's check my equipment. I want to see. I've got no hats that are better than this. I've got no lapels that are better than this. No guns that are better. That fancy knife is actually the best, right? The clown knife does more damage, but the fancy knife gives me three moxie, which is going to affect my gun that I actually use, and the rest of them are just the best option that I have. All right. Fanham is pretty good. Let's try and get it so that Fanhammer can actually take out that 196 health dude. Or, failing that, 
Maybe one of those goblins up uh, up near one of these up places. Mr. St. Gulch. Let's go here first. The Big Apple. Let's go there now. Oh, come on. That's not even close. <sighs> As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with profound awe and a terrible stench that you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You imagine how it got here. Was it a giant horse? Or was it 200 normal-sized horses acting collaboratively? They... They should have sent a poet. Yeah, they should have. All right, shovel it up. Make a little dent in it. It's way smaller than it was before. Make another dent. Keep making dents in it. I cleaned up the poop. It played a lovely tune for me. It didn't give me anything, though. Oh, you find a pair of saddlebags, Fort of All Dead Library, and it's a modern snake oiler bag. Uh, all right, let's read that. Get a new snake oiling skill. Strong, bad, or good medicine? Can we go for bad medicine? You memorize the toxin recipe and add it to your chemical repertoire. You don't want anyone else using this toxin against you, though, so you destroy the magazine. Better safe than sorry. I don't know if I want to go for this one yet, because it was, again, higher level. I think I want to go back down to the Gustafson Gulch. Someone left a bundle of dynamite on the ground. Cool. So I could just pass by, not go into the guard hut. I mean, I'm not going to do that. I am going to go into the guard hut again, but, you know, I could have just passed by. Okay. Yep. Well, as soon as we geared ourselves correctly, these suddenly became entirely ineffectual. So that's good. Uh, we got the treasure cave key as well as goblin trousers. Eh, fair enough. That didn't actually give us anything that we didn't already have. Uh, unlock it and head inside. Goblin is paying more attention to their book, Goblet, than you. And you're pretty sure you... But you're pretty sure you aren't just going to be waltzing by. Spoil the ending. Hey, Goblet, good book. <sighs> what are you thinking about? What thinking about how Goratio is only one surviving at the end? Everyone else dying, poisoning, sorting, pow, blam. Goblet version of Hammett, Horatio. Yeah, fair enough. Ah, uh, no, wow, spoilers. God runs out of the cave with their hands over their ears. Uh, this goblin guard is whittling a little bird call. Little word and board, uh, bird call, but they're not too busy to beat you up if you try and get past them. Test out our new bird calls. You duck behind a stalagmite. Stalagmite, rather. And do your great crested grebe impression. Oh, gasp. A great crested grebe. Oh, wow. Pulls out a pair of binoculars and out. Uh, pulls a pair of binoculars out of his uniform and runs out of the cave. We get 28 spray. So all the things that we learned in the area are now being put to use. Unlike the other two guards, this one is very attentive and seems very suspicious of you. And unlike the other two guards, they also have a name tag that says Jean. Remind them of their cafe shift. Hey, Jean, aren't you supposed to be working the cafe today? You forgetting? Oh, wow. Oh, no. The goblin quickly takes off their guard uniform and puts on a cafe uniform, then races out of the cafe. Uh, races at to the cafe. All right, picks. Needs a needle. Uh, hey, wow. An entire year's worth of supply of dynamite. And we get a ridiculous amount of meat. Cactusy treasure boxes. Unfortunately, don't have freaking needles. Let's go to the railroad camp. I'd like some needles, though. You hear a rattling noise behind you, and another rattling noise off to your left, and the third rattling noise somewhere ahead. You conclude that you've either stumbled into a nest of babies or a nest of rattlers. A quick glance confirms it's the latter. Not an unexpected, reasonably. This is no place for babies. They don't really have, like, any HP to speak of. Oh no, I'm poisoned for 10 damage. Let's just kill them. We did it. You get a snake liver and a rattleskin skin. Of course, we want to fight all snakes that we can possibly find. Naturally. Naturally. 
Yep, here you go. Yes, supply of dynamite. Perfect, this will do the trick just fine. Hang back for a bit while I get the fellas to set up the charges and I'll let you do the honors. Smee consults with the other workers and they inspect the rocks for a while. Eventually one of them shrugs, pushes the whole crate of dynamite up next to the rocks and wires up a detonator. All right, let her rip. Wait, uh, don't you have a longer detonator cable? Nope. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Just give a three count before you hit the plunger so I have time to get onto the train. Right. Kablooey! What the holy heck is... Rock Golem! There is a very large and very angry looking thing. Guy? Standing here. Apparently it's a little peeved at having a year supply of dynamite blown up next to his butt while it was sleeping. How are you going to handle this? Dance at it. You dance. The rock monster is extremely strong. But that only matters if it can hit you. And it is geologically slow. Dancing around the creature, you find plenty of places to stick a knife, widening fractures and fissures created by the initial dynamite blast. Eventually, the entire thing just crumbles into gravel with an angry groan. Booyah. All in a day's work. Trust me, 20 moxie to do that. Well, now that's a fine day as work as I've ever seen. Much obliged, friend. We'll be getting the rest of the track laid down and head out by now. Here... I'll mark our route on the map for you in case our paths happen across again. Thanks, but can't I just ride the train? Got a ticket? <laughs> just kidding. Of course you don't. Every seat on the train sold out. Sorry, boss. Sigh. Nothing much to see here now. The remains of your triumph over the crazy rock pile slash guy. Making sure there's nothing left. Here we camp out west. Um, I do want to go to a store. There's always something along the way. Right, you come across the cats of, uh, corpse of a cowboy. How do you know it's the corpse of a cowboy? Well, you can see by his outfit that he's a cowboy. And you can see by his lack of flesh that he's a corpse. Check for useful gear or give him a proper burial. Honorable plus shovel. We'll give him a proper burial. 10 experience for doing so. Uh, we're getting real close to the next level of uh, fan hammer. I think at the final level it'll shoot four times. I do want to increase my lockpicking expertise by one, though. Alright, back in the store. Mm, has not restocked, unfortunately. I don't have a can of oil on me at the moment, so I'll buy another one. Also buy some cheap wine. Because my spleen is potions. Right. My liver is for alcohol, but I don't have much alcohol that I'd actually want to use. I've got the military grade hooch. That's about it, though. Haven't got a glass orb, so we can't do the Dave Yard. Dave Yard, sorry. Fort Cowardice. Can't even remember what I was doing. Ooh, Snake Pit Mine. Yeah, let's go fight him. <clears throat> Sounds like my kind of thing. Exposed meat vein. Look at the mining equipment. You have no idea what any of it does. Ask Alice to explain it to you. Hey, Alice, do you know how any of this stuff works? Nope. Well, okay then. All right, we'll explain it to Alice. Just wanted to tell you about this mining stuff. So this first machine here is an automatic gravel sloffer. She stares at you blankly. Move on to the next screen. And this over here, it used to extract angular clay and then liquefy it. Alice sighs. Keep going. This third machine is an acidic gold blaster. It converts sulfur into metamorphic ash. Isn't that interesting? You got a perk, Mind Splainer. Alice rolls her eye. Are you finished? Yes. What's this one do? You're a real expert. You'll gain XP when interacting with mining stuff. Woo, hot coffee. Come on, let's check it and see. What does it do? Uh, speed for by three for the rest of the day. I'm so much faster than all of my opponents. I don't know if 
extra speed is actually going to help me at this point. You see a snake coiled in this little hole, pull it out and punch it, obviously. Bye. Um, take the skin, sure. We get EXP bonus there as well. Easy. Thermos of spiked coffee and smelling salts we picked up there. Get the jump on them. The AOE should just, yeah. You grab the rest of the eggs from the den and shove them into your briefcase. You feel, uh, soon they'll hatch, hatch and feel right at home. Plus three venom. There's not enough skin to be worth collecting. Uh, we get another pickaxe. We mine that, and that had more than the previous one, but I still don't know how much it had. Because I walked away too quickly. Well, at least we got a perk from here. That makes this much more useful than a lot of the other areas I've stumbled across so far. Uh, I think I was on my way to Fort Cowardice. You see a crate lying by the side of the trail. It's lid knocked off loose. It has fell off the back of a cart LTD stenciled on the side, which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. We get... We can't help but help ourselves to the meager, but free contents. Full canteen, lasso, ranch dressing. Cool, cool. Get a mug of cactus beer. There was someone we couldn't beat up here before. Going guns blazing. We got him this time. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> yeah, they've got no chance. Gain 30 XP. You've heroically defeated the sleeping goblins who are guarding their beds. Footlocker has rusted away to almost nothing. It has a chemical bullet, army field trauma kit, and a full canteen. That one requires a needle. <laughs> I need more needles! Uh, I also need the level of safe cracking. Alright, nothing I can do here, unfortunately. I really don't know where I'm going to be able to pick up more needles. Butterfield Ranch... I think we finished Butterfield Ranch. Uh, a wave of heat hits you. You turn around and see a Hellcalf pouring at the ground and eyeing you with ill intent with a dead black demonic eyes. We'll charge it, obviously, and kill it instantly. We got tainted milk as well as extra thick leather. Uh, very close to being able to get the next level of Fan Hammer. Yes, this is where I got one thing. There was another thing that was not yet immediately clear to me, right? Yes, it was... I can't lockpick those. Alright, let's fight these. Kill the Ungolith. Get a Menudo Geode. Another Ungolith. A Brass Bull Ring. Okay, does 10 damage on the Repost, but... Dies as a result. Another Minuto Geode. Three at the same time is probably enough to take me down, though. 31. Even the AoE after that won't kill it, so... Beautiful. Another Minuto Geode. There's an effectively infinite number of Ungoliths here. Oh! Okay. I think I know what's going on here. So this is... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I figured this out. Basically, what's happening here is there's going to be three different locations for farming different kinds of beasts. So there's the location where I can farm infinite skeletons. Here I can farm infinite cows. Obviously... The lady whose whole family died to the cows, Sarah Court Marshal or whatever her name was, uh, she would level up from fighting these. Uh, we level up Alice by fighting the skeletons. Crazy Pete, no clue what he'd level up from fighting, but you have one bowl of cow's milk and we can make infernal bottle with it. Cool. Increases your speed and maximum AP by one for the rest of the day. Minuto increases your moxie by... 
Uh, Brass Bull Ring just gives you 30. That is money to sell. Increase your armor by 5 for the rest of the day. Army for the medikit. Okay, cool. Oh, well, that seems pretty obvious. Let's get out of here. Need more needles. But of course, if we are looking for more needles, we're going to have to find them in the next episode. My name is Mirapsi. The name of the game has been West of Loathing. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There are the playlists in the description down below with all my content on this game, past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.